Hey, welcome. Here's a short study guide video for basically topics covering the Opium War, the Meiji Restoration, and the Boxer Rebellion. Okay, so if you ever see the Sepoy Mutiny, the Boer War, and the Opium War, these three events or the Zulu Wars, they're all associated with trying to, um, you know, stop British imperialism. Okay? Um, next idea in the test. The Meiji Restoration, that was basically um, the Japanese trying to industrialize and modernize and get stronger. Emperor Meiji acted and proclaimed that Japan would become a modern nation, and he improved their education and their military and their economy, and especially their factories. Other things, not everybody was happy with, um, you know, foreigners coming to their countries, and the boxers rebelled in China, and the sepoys rebelled in India, and they all wanted to remove or reduce foreign influence. So whenever you see the sepoy rebellion and the boxer rebellion together, know that they wanted to remove foreigners from their countries. They wanted freedom. They were freedom movements. Okay? Now, you may be reading a uh, paragraph here or there, and if you do see a paragraph about Japan modernizing, Japan westernizing, Japan industrializing, that was the Meiji era when the Japanese would modernize. And it all happened under the Meiji Emperor. And once again, Sepoy Rebellion and Boxer Rebellion, they all want to remove foreign influence. So the Opium War happened in China, and basically China lost to Europeans. They lost primarily to the British, and China is then divided up into spheres of influence when many Western nations come and take over land. The boxers did not like this, and the Chinese group of the boxers, they rose up, and they wanted death to the foreign devils, and they tried to fight to remove foreigners from China. So, the Opium War, it was basically about getting more land for the British, and the Chinese did not want it, and the Chinese were fighting with old-fashioned weapons, and they lost to the modern military might of the British. Okay? So, if you see a quote, know that the boxers wanted to remove the foreign devils and death to the foreign devils and kick the foreign devils out of China. And the boxers went around executing any foreigners they saw. Now, the Japanese did try and modernize. So they tried to become a modern nation, and they encouraged people to dress like Westerners, okay? And you may see a graphic with, you know, Japanese wearing modern clothes and doing things like from the West. And that would be modernization, Westernization under the Meiji Emperor. So the Meiji Emperor, he wanted to modernize Japan. He wanted Japan to become powerful and he wanted them to become imperial and start taking over their own lands in Asia, getting, um, you know, natural resources for the Japanese factories. So the big thing the Japanese wanted is to become powerful. And the Japanese developed a strong navy because Japan is an island nation and they need that to go take over other lands and other people. And Japan is going to rule a huge Pacific Empire eventually. Now, to become an industrial state, you can you know, you have to modernize, you have to increase education, you have to increase, you know, number one factories in your countries. Okay. You you know, and the best way to do this is go to other countries, learn what they're doing good, bring it back to your own country and implement it there. And that's what the Japanese did under the Meiji Emperor. Okay, so Basically, if you see something about modernization, it's Japan and the Meiji. Okay? And remember, imperialism is when a strong country takes over a weaker country. Now, Japan basically was opened up to trade because the Japanese were trying to live isolated. And Commodore Matthew Perry from the United States arrived in Japan with um, warships and 
as a show of strength. They fired their cannons in Edo Bay, and they said, we'll be back in a year. And be ready to accept the United States in Japan, or you're going to get invaded. And that was basically Matthew Perry, Commodore Matthew Perry's message from the U.S. Navy. So the Japanese realized that it would be futile to stand up to the United States modern military with their old-fashioned, you know, swords and arrows. So a year later, America did show up, and the Japanese did open up to American trade. The growing concerns about the influence of the West in China. The Chinese, you know, the Opium War, they tried to kick Westerners out and lost. Tang Pim Rebellion in China, they tried to kick foreigners out and lost. And the Box Rebellion, they tried to kick foreigners out and lost in China. Okay, and the Meiji Rebellion, you know that's all about modernizing Japan under Emperor Meiji. And the Box Rebellion and the Sepoy Rebellion, they wanted to remove foreign influence from Boxers wanted to remove foreigners from China, and the sepoys wanted to remove foreigners from India. And Meiji Restoration, just think modernized Japan. Okay, guys, good luck. Watch us a few times if you need to. Take that test.